I, Stephanie Bain, Stephanie Bain, I have a books, 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 I, I, I'm a book addict. There's so many books. <laughs> Hello everyone, so today's video is going to be my December wrap up. This was a decent reading month. I read one, two, three, eight and eight books and some odd pages so let's get right into it um i participated for the first like week of harry xmas to you and i read the first three books all three of them and their wonderful beautifulness uh they were great but then i got to goblet of fire i always stop here i believe i only got about a hundred and hold on hold on i only got 160 paging it 116 pages in uh i don't know what it is i just i haven't been able to get through this this one yet i think if i when i not if when i attempt to read it again i'm just going to have to start from here and stop rereading them Bared to You by Sylvia Day. I did not enjoy this book. I gave it a two out of five stars. Um, honestly, you know, I only have space for one of these types of novels and I kind of did prefer Fifty Shades of Grey more than this one. After I read Bared to You, I read Fifty Shades Darker by E.L. James. I actually didn't really like this book. As, uh, I really liked the first book. I gave that one a 4 out of 5 stars. This one got a good like 2.5 or 3 out of 5 stars out of me. I don't remember which of the two it was. I had a lot of issues with this. It was just... I don't know. Something about it I felt like the characters changed. From like the first book to this one and it kind of just wasn't about what it was about in the first I don't know there was just things I wasn't super happy with after I read those two books I needed some more adults but I decided to go with Cemetery Girl by David Bell I always forget his name oh five out of five stars this book was so good by far probably my absolute favorite book I read this month like it oh it was just so good. It's about a girl who, a daughter, she's 12 years old when she goes missing. Yeah, she's 12 years old. She goes missing. Four years later, they find her. And it just has to do with, like, her... It kind of has to do with that whole, like, what is it, Stockholm Syndrome? I don't remember what it is, but, you know, when the captor, captive falls in love with the captor kind of thing. And that happens. And there's a lot of like mystery you don't know who's involved you don't know how it even came to be and it was just so intense and so sad because this is in the perspective of her father and I hated the mother with a passion I wanted to shoot that biatch but this was such a good book like I really loved it this definitely would have been in my favorite books of 2014 the book I read after that is, uh, okay, I explained this in my haul, the reason why I got it, and that is, uh, Bella Thorne's Autumn Falls. I have to, I was very curious about what this book entailed, what it was about, Bella Thorne. Obviously, she did, I believe, have a ghostwriter. I know that she mainly worked on it. You know, she had help with Elise Allen. I don't really care. Uh, all I have to say is this was really short as you can tell this is like 200 and i'll tell you right now 213 pages i read this in like two hours three hours or so something like that it was really fun i gave this a four out of five stars i will definitely pick up the next book when it comes out then i picked up another book but this was a reread and i watched the movie with my friend and i was like eff it i'm going to reread it and that is the fault in our stars by john green i love this book it's i didn't realize how many because I've watched the movie a crap ton of times and I didn't realize how many differences there are until I read I was like, oh, that's right. I wasn't that pleased with the movie when I first watched I still love the movie. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But yeah, um, it's just, it's beautiful. It's always going to be a five out of five. And then I decided to pick up two books that I'm kind of, one of them I'm reading like a story here and there. 
another one I'm actually currently reading. I started reading it last night and I'm really excited because I just decided to continue with the series. But the one that I'm reading here and there is actually Augustine, Augustine or Augustine, Augustine Burroughs. Uh, you Better Not Cry. He is definitely one of my favorite authors because he, sorry, this is like really shiny. Uh, he just knows how to make a really effed up situation into a really great story. I've read three of his books and I have a haul coming up soon that includes three more of his books. This is one of them. So I read the first story, which is... I think You Better Not Cry. Yeah, the first story I read was You Better Not Cry, and it was pretty much just about how uh, he used to always get Santa Claus and Jesus confused, and then his um, grandparents are coming on, like, his dad's side. Those grandparents are coming over or whatever, and they bring him a ginormous, like, Santa Claus, and he's like, oh, Jesus, and there's an issue. Point is, he ends up eating the wax face off of Santa Claus and having to get a stomach pumped and he was like eight or nine years old. It was awesome. And the one I'm currently reading, which I have already read 150 pages of is, oh my god, I forgot the name, City of Fallen Angels, book four in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. Oh, it just makes me happy. I really truly enjoy this series. I have to say I'm not, I mean, I'm still loving it, but the progression in this one is a lot slower. I feel or maybe it's just me but um I will probably be done with this tomorrow at the latest I don't know how much reading time I'm gonna get in tonight but yes yeah, so I've read that this month uh, by the way it's like January 1st I think or second it's a second just you know throwing that out there um, I'm going to go film my TBR and then yeah I'll be done for tonight so I hope you guys like this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!